Check us out and follow us on Instagram at not underscore surprised underscore media. YouTube at not surprised media. And the X or Twitter, whatever you want to fucking call it, at not surprised underscore PC. Now, sit back, put those feet up, and listen to the show. I got Digga staring at me like a fucking weirdo, <laughs> making us all awkward. We got a smirk, though. Welcome to show 33. 33. That's right. Hit a knee. And we have a spe- <laughs> this is a special occasion. Why? A very special occasion. Why? It's almost like ceremonial. Oh. Yes. I forgot about this. Yes. Yes. Um... Somebody is moving up in life in the social ladder. I can't yep. wait to find out who. It's going to be the Digatron. The Digatron. So, without any further ado, let's let this happen now. There you go. <laughs> She's like, well, dear God, what's happening? For your performance. On Monday. <laughs> Monday. You have earned... The right as the princess of Panas. <laughs> and I want to knight you. So. You just made that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is, this is ceremonial. Okay. <laughs> I need you to repeat after me. Need you to repeat after me. I, Princess of Panas. I, Princess of Panas. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To uphold all my duties. To uphold all my duties. And obey the king. <laughs> every Monday or every. I like the weekends. All right. You're fucking it up. <laughs> Solemnly swear to obey. Hello. I solemnly swear to obey. King Frank Nasty. <laughs> Say it. What do I get out of this? Say it. King Frank Nasty. The ruler of Panas. <laughs> the ruler of Panas. Okay, I will now knight you. <laughs> Hold your hands up, please. I now give you the sausage sword, <laughs> and you are now a princess of Panas! Yes! 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 All right, I, I got the chills, you know? That was perfect. I got the chills. I finally made it. This is, I, I made I feel it like, like crying a little bit. I want to cry a I little bit. I cry. That's good. I'm Isn't crying it good? all day. Yeah, this is perfect. Huh? You like that? <laughs> Even as a little t- <laughs> It's a sausage do like, sword. Do you like the veins in it? <laughs> It's a sausage sword. I will nice. post it for everybody. Yeah. That's great. See how I put the tape at the bottom? Make it look, because I was watching Forge and Fire. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured, all right. Oh, very nice. You are the Princess of Panas. Congratulations. I'm Congratulations. Thank you. All Thank right. You. I'm, I'm very proud. King Frank Nasty of Panasville. Hey. Where's my crown? She needs a crown. I, get jewel- oh. I need jewels to go with it. Oh, I'll give you jewels. You get a pearl necklace. <laughs> What the fuck you thinking? What did you think I was going to say? That was exciting. I, that you get was pearls, good. motherfucker. That was quick. That was a good one. Hmm. Well. Well, I, this is, we're, we're in the midst of royalty. This is a big deal. Mm. Yes, it is. I am so proud of you. Damn, I should have had some. Should have had some music playing in the background. Fuck. That's all right. It was perfect. All right. That was the best ceremony I've ever seen. And I, I freestyled that whole thing. That was good. That was good, right? I did not expect that. It's the best achievement I've ever had. <laughs> you really have is. like something that's made out of pure platinum. <laughs> I'm gonna go pawn this tomorrow. You get million. You should go to pawn stores, <laughs> stars, whatever the fuck it is. Pawn, pawn, whatever. All right. Cool. 
Anything you want to say? You want to thank like your mom or anything or <laughs> Jesus? Nothing. Okay. The- what are you gonna do for the first like, like to make the villagers of Panas live better and and make it better for everybody and improve the village? Well, this was kind of a shock. I wasn't ex- expecting this today, yes. so I'm not really prepared. Yes, um, I agree. But I'll do an interview tomorrow. Perfect. All right. For the people. She for the think, people? She thinks I'm going to fucking forget about it. No, nope, we're doing it. <laughs> I ain't forget it. You better write some shit down. <laughs> we're doing it. There's going to be a part two to this motherfucker. Yep. All right. You should do some demonstration videos. Yeah, I should. Because you could teach others, <laughs> you know, that don't know you've how been, to become. You've been knighted. Up to this standard. Yeah. 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 I don't know if you could be knighted as a, whatever. They get the fucking point. <laughs> mm. So. We could either talk about the NFL player that peed on everybody in the plane or or somebody had a near death experience. Wait. Well, I could talk about my story after that, that who was, peed on a plane. Some dude he was on, I think it was on Ambien. Oh he peed god. On a fucking, he peed on some fucking You know what? While I'll get that ready. Yep. I gotta get that video ready. While I do that. What happened to you? You almost died. Almost died today. What? Yes. So, yes. on my lunch break, I went to <laughs> the trail that I go to quite often. Uh-huh. I mean, I haven't been there in a few weeks, but I went there. No, I went. Yeah, I don't know. Either way. <laughs> it's near my house. It's wonderful. And, you know, every so often, though, like, you get to a point where there's, like, a crosswalk and you're, like, you have to cross a real road and then you get back to the trail. Obviously, cars need to, should stop for that. So I'm running, and I sl- always slow down, like, just, like, so I don't get hit by a car. And I didn't see anyone coming, thought I was good. I'm, like, halfway, halfway in this lane, and a white SUV just comes flying. Dude, you really? Like, They're comes, supposed to stop. I know. Came flying. Like, I was already, like, in the road, and they came flying, so I had to slow down. And That's not the part that has the flashing lights, like. Not a flashing light. Oh, you're thinking in the other intersection? No, it was that same trail, but we were closer, like, to my house. But that one actually has flashing lights. This one does not have a flashing light, but there is, like, a sign Mm -hmm. and, like, all all the white line. Like, you very much know it's a a crosswalk. Yeah. Yep. So, wait a second. Were you supposed to stop to wait for other cars to come through? No, I did slow down. Like, I basically, yeah, like, I was like, okay, got here, didn't see any cars in sight, started going, mm-hmm. and then it was like white lightning g- coming in hot. No shit. Yeah, so Did I Did they had, ever stop? No. They just blew I, right past I it. had to, like, stop and let them go because I knew they were not stopping. No shit. And they so weren't paying attention. Probably not even paying attention. <clears throat> so, no, after that car, like, there was, like, a line of cars stopped because even behind me, like, there was a bunch of bikers come because it's yeah. a lot of people bike on that trail. Yeah. So I am just running, but these people on bikes are going so fast. So two bikers like quickly caught up to me, and they were like, "That was really like a close call." That That's was fucked t- up. They they came up to me. They were like, "That was terrible." Like they're supposed to stop. Like I'm trying to think where. And I was like, "Yeah," um, and so I told Raj, and he's like, "That's happened to me before." I almost he threw a, this? he threw a water bottle at the car. I was <laughs> like, "Well, I don't have a water bottle on me." I was running with just I had my keys in one hand and my phone in one hand because I was listening to my music. Yeah. I was like, I just did like one of these. Like, I wasn't gonna throw my phone at the car. Where's this intersection by? I mean, you don't have to say exactly where it is, but what's is there a landmark? I'm trying to think of which one it is. Um, Jarvis. I don't know if you know Jarvis. Yeah. That's on that street. Like five minutes from my house, if that. Go oh, I know exactly where that is. They don't have the flashing lights there. There's not a flashing light there, but it is like there is a big sign. They don't fucking pay attention. Like, there's a big sign. Like, you very much know it's a, a bike trail crosswalk. Yeah, they don't pay attention. That's no. their fucking problem. And I wasn't on a bike. I was just running. Like, you know, I'm not you a fast You can't runner, but. cross thinking these fucking people are going to pay attention to what they're doing. No. But the craziest thing is, like, I always do, like, at least slow, maybe not fully stop, but slow down, mm-hmm. look, like, think I'm good. Okay, I could go. Yeah. That car was not stopping. You almost got fucked up. <laughs> I wonder whose fault it would have been. The only reason why I say this... I don't know. So, there's a crosswalk there, right? Mm-hmm. 
Then there's stop signs saying, I think there's stop signs saying stop for pedestrians. Yeah. So it would have been their fault. There's so many signs. I wonder if their insurance could have argued saying. Twisted it. You should have waited until that car came to a complete stop. No, I wonder if their insurance would have said, God forbid something happened. That would have been a fucked up one. Yeah, I don't know. You would have been going out for years with that one. Right. Yep. Holy shit. I mean, They're I supposed to stop, though, so you, that would that's in your favor. Like, I was, like, aware that after I was, like, X far into the road, I was yeah. like, okay, this person is not is coming in hot. So that's why I And they're out. not fucking paying it. Yeah, so you would have been fine because of those signs say. I was, like, aware, though, at least, like, okay, like, this person isn't stopping. Yep, those signs tell the motherfuckers to stop. Yeah. So but I think of people like on bikes that like are going like really fast and like mm. it all could just happen so fast. You know where that um where the trail comes out to that Chinese spot? There's an ice cream place there. It's almost so near the, uh, the blink of light. Yeah, it's almost near a uh, stop and shop. Yes. Did you see what they have there? They have something where they have a, like a gate here and a gate here. So the bikers don't go fucking zooming through. They got to stop, they go have through to one stop. way and go. So it slows them down slows enough. Slows them down because yeah. they go the bike biker. Some bikers. They don't have that so fence fast. over there. No, not where I was today. Damn! Oh, no, you almost got waffled, yo. Crazy. This would have been a rest in peace show. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's fuck. Good thing it's not. Not <laughs> what? Damn! I mean, at least I like. At least I was like aware and not just like da 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 da. You know. See, that's why you don't trust none of these fucking drivers. Nope. Well, at least you're safe. Here I am. What well, did you see the driver? No, because Roger's like, you should have taken a picture of the car. I was like, I ain't got time for that shit. By the time you get your phone. They were still, they were, they were gone. Like they did not stop. They were not stopping. Yeah. By the time you get your phone, yeah. they're already gone. Yeah. Hmm. It, was it a female? Probably a female driver. I couldn't even tell you. It happened so fast. <laughs> I have no idea. Female drivers. I mean, some of them are I good. just like, oh, guess you're not stopping. I'll stop. Some <laughs> and then they kept going. <laughs> So, uh, either way, we're all fucked. <laughs> we're all fucked. So, that's well, that's good. At least you're safe. Well, I'm alive. But mm-hmm. yeah, that was crazy. That was pretty. <laughs> like, holy shit. Yep, I saw it. It was like white lightning coming through. So, did you pee a little bit? No. Good. It was good. just like, good. I didn't realize how like messed up it was until the people behind me caught up to me and they're like, oh my God, that so, was a close call. They saw the whole shit go down. <laughs> I was like, well, was it? I was like, well, it was, but I was just like, I mean, I stopped, I, I stopped and yeah. slowed down, let him go, but. It's good. Damn. Yeah. I see, I don't know how you could go through those fucking, I wouldn't, I don't let Diggle walk through those shits by yourself. The trails? Hell no. No. Fuck no. It is scary. Sometimes I see people walking on the trails that are a little sketchy. Yeah, fuck that. I said to Raj, I'm, if I go missing, it's going to be on the Cheshire Trail. No, yeah, <laughs> fuck that. It's going to be <clears throat> just the whole, and you'll never find me. Ah, oh, well, you know what? No. Ah, uh, I couldn't even think about it. No, forget it. No. Nope, you're not going. It is scary. Because now everybody on the trail has got to die. <laughs> Until I figure out who the fuck it is. There are some people that are just there, like innocently walking or running or biking, and then there are some people that are like the wood, like, like the ones that are hiding. Well, in there's the some people woods. that are like walking in jeans. You know? I mean, I guess I think if that's they're... a red flag in itself. Yeah. Right. Why are you walking in jeans? Unless, unless they work nearby, they just want to walk quick from one end to another, and then they go because there's a lot of businesses Maybe. around there. Maybe. And separate parts, but I don't think where you were there are. No, those are residential. Yeah, like there's people's backyards. Yeah, that's residential shit, so they shouldn't yeah. be that far. But if you keep if you going go one further way, down. Yeah, because I did go one way towards like, what is it that, seemed like New an Haven-ish? industrial park-ish, and I felt super sketched out in there. I said to Raj, okay, I'll, I'll forever go the other way. Yeah. You, no, you got to watch out. You bring anything to fucking, I'm making you fucking plastic knuckles. <laughs> I need one. <laughs> but you got, we have to like set up a whole like yes. thing oh, and make sure you could punch. I got to practice. Oh, I could punch. I might have some old, I might have yeah, some old OC spray. Nah, you ain't gonna do shit to them. It's just gonna fucking taste good for them. <laughs> they like pepper. That shit's old as fuck. <laughs> they like pepper. That shit's all expired. Uh, You don't have your, you have your pistol permit? I do. When was the last time you shot a gun? Hmm. Probably like two years ago. It's been a while. All right, fuck it. I need a refresher. Yeah, forget it. You should get a taser. Oh, that'd be cool. They have those things. Well, <laughs> see, forget it then. I don't think you should have. That it. would be great. Because <laughs> they're like, oh, lo- that's cool. I would love that. Just fucking blasting people. 
<laughs> for no fucking reason. I, I would. I definitely would. <laughs> but you fucker, watch your bike. <laughs> <laughs> You're the wrong side. <laughs> wrong side of the road. Yeah. No, that was. Those would be really good. I want a taser for the house. I want a taser just for fun. Mm. Well, if you're gonna taste the shit out of each other, it's expensive when you're on a Friday night. You could get just like a I would you know, you could get you could get one off of Amazon that's like a cheap shitty one. Oh. It's not a taser, it's more like a stun gun. Like thing. a little zap. Yeah, you could Zapper. do that. You and Raj put a little nine volt battery in there. Just Some little. nice little pink one. And then he pretends he's breaking in the house and he's like, No, stop it and he puts that little um Bondage fiddle on you. Gidget. <laughs> Bondle. What was it? I gotta find the name. Bondage fid- it fidget. It was a bondage fiddle. Hold yep. On. So you put, you know, all of a sudden now you're all bondage up, but then you're able to get your fucking taser and you taste the shit out of them. And then you guys do it. Actually, not a bad idea. That's no, not a bad idea. I'm kind of into it. Yeah, it's a bondage fiddle. Bondage fiddle. Yep. So I got a 3D printer and we were looking up... Uh, Inappropriate things to make. So we thought this bondage fiddle. So it's got a bigger hole and two little holes. So I thought the bigger hole went on the panas and the two little holes went on your thumb. Yeah. But I was like, that doesn't make sense. It's stupid. No. Then couldn't figure it out. Then we thought the bigger hole went on the panas and the little holes went on your testicles. That made more sense in my head. Yeah. But it would have hurt. But then we're like, you got to stretch those fuckers out. (laughs) <laughs> That's not going to work out. It's almost like a little too much pain. So this thing would have been the size, from what we were thinking, it would have been the size of uh, a small cutting board or maybe a like a, a tablet. Yeah. Around that size yeah. of a tablet. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. This nope. fucking thing was the size of a fucking, I don't know. It was big. It was big. It was like, the, I would say the length of a keyboard, a computer yeah. keyboard. Yeah. And the big hole went around your fucking neck, and the two little holes went around your wrist, and now you're stuck like that. And then you just fucking get, I don't know if the other person beats the shit out of you, or (laughs) they tickle you. You're like, stop tickling me. Do you guys, are you guys into tickling? (laughs) No, fuck that. No, me neither. Bullshit. No, you're not. such a you're full just, of shit. I was just wondering if people were I didn't even know if that was like a thing. You guys into tickling. <laughs> was that in your bag of no. your bag of treats you it, have? It was your bondage bag. <laughs> Fucking bondage bag. That's not in there? It's I'm gonna make gym, you one. It's a gym bag, technically. It was a gym bag, and now it's a bondage bag. Either way. Well, Tomatoes, tomatoes. Everybody, everybody's got one. Everyone got one. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yep. See. I think we use like old stop and shop bag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck our shit in. That's awesome. When COVID happened, we got all these free bags, so we just use those. Oh my gosh, it's mm. amazing. Um, I totally forgot the fuck I was gonna say. All right, fuck that. All right, so anyway. Let's go to the uh, the guy who peed on a plane. I can't believe that. This just happened? Um, it's like a month ago. You out of here, Digga? No, I got more for you. You making some more? You go, girl. Yes. All right, here we go. So this is, uh, is a former NFL player accused of urinating on a passenger on a Delta flight from Boston to Dublin. Oh, my God. Goster Churilus, C H E R I L U S. I don't know shit about sports. So I don't know this motherfucker. I wonder what team was he? Does it say what team he's on? Yep. Uh, uh, NFL offensive lineman, former, and Boston College uh, star accused of urinating on another passenger. What the fuck team was this motherfucker on? Son of a bitch. Either way, he was on a fucking team. That's wild. So, he, uh... 40? That dude's 40? Of Wakefield Churilus. 
so the listeners will know who the fuck I'm talking about. Goster, uh, 40 of Wakefield, Massachusetts. That dude looks older than 40. Oh he had God. a rough life. He right. Pleaded guilty. Uh, <laughs> he had a rough life. Yeah, fucking life was rough on that like motherfucker. He's way older than you. Yeah. I'm fucking six years older than that motherfucker. Uh, Pled not guilty to interfering with the operation of an aircraft, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest at his arraignment Monday in East Boston District Court. He was released on $2,500 bail. That's it? You made a whole fucking plane turn around after you pissed all over it? And that's it? Oh, they're going to find the shit out of him for peeing and cleaning that shit up? Yeah, and, then that and that ladies... could be like a whole, I don't know, you never know, STD thing. Dude, that, yeah, she, oh, he's getting sued. That bitch is going to sue the shit mm-hmm. out of him. Let's see. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Massachusetts State Police said they were called to Logan Airport in Boston around 2 a.m., uh, Sunday after Delta Flight 154 from Boston to Dublin, Ireland, was returning to the airport. Oh, shit. In the statement, police said the flight was diverted because of an unruly passenger who urinated on another passenger on board. That's insane. It is fucked up. So I read a little, uh, I'm just trying to find something real quick. Let's see. I'm not prepared for anything. No, you're good. You'll see. So. Okay, so here we go. It's almost like, remember that time someone <clears throat> came on someone? Yeah. Where they're in think, a store. What do you think would be worse? Semen. Yeah. Yeah. I would say semen. That's fucking gross. I don't know. Both is pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Troopers verbally commanded Kirillis to leave the plane, but he became irate and unco- uncooperative. <laughs> oh my God! Eventually, troopers had to escort Kirillis off the jet bridge and placed him under arrest. Police said in their statement. Maybe he was on drugs. It's got an apology. There's an apology. Yep. Come on. Goster. You know what would be perfect right now? If I just bit into a Dorito. You should. <laughs> no, no. I'm just thinking like with with, with the, the urine in the background. So he's got a he's got an apology. Um he said He said Okay. I'd like to address the media and reports about me. That surfaced today regarding the situation that occurred aboard a flight to Ireland this past weekend. Colonel Willis wrote, The flight was unexpectedly delayed for approximately four hours. Oh, I would have punched him in his fucking mouth. You fucking delay me for four hours. I would have been so mad. You jerk off. That ruined half, that ruined more than half. Yeah, time. you fucking cocksucker. It did not take off until after 12.30 a.m. In preparation for the unexpected overnight flight, I took a sleeping medication. Oh, yeah, see? That I don't normally take, uh, which resulted in behavior that is not representative of my character. And I would like to apologize. So that so I kind of I'm on his side if if he took some crazy shit like that. He probably did. That's what I said. He must have been like on drugs. Ambien. Yeah. People people will fucking kill somebody. Yeah. Wake up in fucking in jail and be like, what happened? What did I do? But yeah, Why you killed like eight people or yeah. whatever the fuck you do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. According to the police report, he appeared drunk. When he oh when he arrived to Logan Air before the flight took off yeah so he was yeah so he was a uh, um, they probably recognize him as being an NFL player so they're like dude this dude is fucking drunk even before he got on the plane to go to fucking probably 
before the flight even took off, allegedly argued with another passenger over a seating arrangement. Uh, then about an hour into the flight, investigator, oh, you're an hour in the flight, and you fucked it up for everybody. Oh, you should be thrown out the fucking plane, you cocksucker. That sucks. Uh, then about an hour into the flight, investigator said he walked up to an elderly woman. Oh, it was an elderly woman? Yep. And uh, exposed himself and emptied his entire bladder like this for approximately 20 seconds. This is about 20 seconds. All right, hold on. 20 seconds. So this is how long you peed on her. Was the lady, like, freaking out? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? That would have punched me. Like, for 20 seconds? Yeah, you're sitting in your seat, and this is happening to you. I would have, like, gotten up or, like, punched, like, hit him or something. No, she's in shock. Fucking drinking it. (laughs) If it gets in your ear. Ew. You ever have swimmer's ear? No. Or <sighs> mouth. Can you imagine? <coughs> no. How warm. <coughs> <coughs> like if I drink too much coffee, my pee smells like coffee. Did you ever smell like that? Coffee? No. Yeah. It's like a. Is that a thing? It's a good smell, but it's like urine on it. You know, it's, so cool. it's not. It is pretty cool. I didn't. I never smelled coffee. Yeah. In it, in it. So drink a lot of coffee. I love coffee. And when you urinate. Don't flush right away and let the steam. There's always steam because it's like your body temperature. Let it come up and smell it. I'm going to try that tomorrow morning. <clears throat> I'm going to do it too. We can talk about it next week. Maybe I'll call you when I'm peeing. FaceTime. Were we, we talking could, about FaceTime? We could reflect. Yes, we were. You and uh, <laughs> Special K. Yep. You guys FaceTime. We FaceTime. You're so weird. Why? Oh, I hate FaceTime. You know how I, you... I do hate FaceTime, but... And that was certain certain people I will. Mm-hmm. Certain people. Well, you know how you hate when I text you and I put like a period at the end? Oh, it's terrible. Or like a thumbs up. But that's my <laughs> thing. I've been doing that forever. But it's so short and sad. You know? It's like, okay. It's conversation. Like, fuck you. It's kind of like conversation's conversation over. The fuck you. <laughs> so sometimes. I look at it as like conversation over. Now, do you notice when I text you sometimes I don't put periods and shit? Yeah. I'm like, she's going to take it personal and shit. But yeah, if you do get a thumbs up, yeah. it's because I'm going from my phone and I'm at work. I'm uh, from my watch and I'm at work. Okay. So I can't answer, but I want to respond. So it's like, hey, I'm like acknowledging, acknowledging you. you. Yeah. Yes. So I'm like this. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. While some fucking crackhead is taking a shit. Well, what, fucking... if, what if you change that thumbs up to like a heart? It depends. Hearts for different things. Oh. You know? So if you're like, hey, I just took a shit. Thumbs up. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> hey, I'm having such a great day. That's a heart. Oh, oh. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Okay. Or hey, I just ate a tuna fish sandwich. Thumbs up. <laughs> hey, I almost got hit by a car. Double heart. <laughs> Double heart. All right. You survived. You get two hearts. Two hearts. <laughs> see what I'm saying? <laughs> so I Googled, because this motherfucker is probably on some kind of ambient shit. I figured Allegedly. it had to. I figured it had to be drugs. Yeah. So I I googled a whole bunch of shit that I printed out quick. We don't have to go through all of them. I didn't even read through them because we were bullshit and talking about that bondage thing. Oh. And the penis I made on my 3D printer. It's amazing. It's a penis fidget. No, it's the best. I'm gonna post that because it's not bad. Oh, it's great. Uh. Poor decisions. Imaginary air race. That sex with my boyfriend, don't remember. That's dumb. Did I do the, that shit like every weekend. Nah, the, I don't have a boyfriend, <laughs> but you know what I mean. I fucked up. Man, shut up, man. I, I fucked do up. that every weekend. <laughs> Fuck. Frank Nasty. <laughs> I fucked that shit up. <laughs> Did you just open the fucking door, Chunk? I thought Dick was coming back in. Thank you. Thank you for the kissy. All right, let's see. So... What is there a statement from the woman yet or no? Oh, let's see. Let me go back. I don't think so. Good thing I went to the edge of the page. Washington. Oh, Detroit Lions he played for. Oh wow. Yeah. Six foot, six inches call six inches tall. Ooh. <laughs> Two hundred and eighty pounds. I would have mm-hmm. tased the shit out of the motherfucker. That's a big big boy. He allegedly hit an elderly man's hand on the way out. Oh, that dude's getting sued by the el- everybody. All the elderlies. 
all the fucking silver shoes. Silver sneakers. That's wild. No, there's no, uh, not in this thing I printed out. No, uh, I like to dress. That's it. Cornelius, or whatever his name is. You yeah. missed it. There you go. We just went through the urination story. But, so, somebody said, um, we're just going through um, some Ambien stories. And how people can get fucked up off of that shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, do crazy shit. Somebody pissed on their computer. Ew. On their computer? Yeah. About a year ago, I was in my college town trying to... Get a normal sleep schedule. Took uh, prescribed Ambien, Ambien at eight p.m. Minutes later, minutes after taking, taking it, my roommate walks in. Uh, oh, walks in and talks to me. And to go to the bar across the street. <clears throat> when I walked into the bar, I was nervous about drinking because I was already under the influence of Ambien. Two hours later, I'm walking back to the apartment. About eight beers in. Yeah, oh, you dumb motherfucker. See, that's what his problem See, he was drunk and probably See? took that fucking shit. Just like a double whammy. Yep. He says, not, not drunk at this point. However, she, he or she was feeling the effects of the ambient. Uh, proceeded to bed. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, do, 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 do. So, as this person's sleeping, uh, they go to their computer, check the schedule for uh, their classes for the next day. And notice that, uh, oh, shit, wait, hold on. Uh, oh, wait a second. Time out, time out, time out. I fucked that up. Okay. So the next morning after going to the bar, this person wakes up, looks at their computer, and sees there's like a, a film on it. Uh, realized that. The smell oh my God. was smell. urine, and the computer wouldn't turn back on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yep. It proceeded to piss all over the fucking keys in the nightstand. I peed in my camper. I told that story before, right? Yeah. yeah. I think it did, too. All right. I mean, when you got to go, you got to go, but... Not but on we you, weren't not, on Ambien. But not on other people. No, 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 no. Or your computer. I thought these would be better. These suck ass. I should have went through these. Ground my teeth down. That's dumb. Ew. These fucking suck. Uh, take a literally hours, brilliant idea, one pill. What? Uh, dreams. Yeah, this fucking suck. So you know what's crazy? He's a famous NFL player. Oh, mm-hmm. former NFL player. I was mm-hmm. gonna say. I wonder. Like, was he just in like regular class? Who? Which one? The guy that peed on. Oh, like regular. Uh, yeah, like he wasn't in first, first class. class or <clears throat> depends how much money know, he got left you over. Should, you were in the NFL, like I would think private jet. Like what? Are, you're just in you're flying coach. I mean, a lot of rich people do the because you know it's a lot of money <clears throat> for a fucking for a, uh, a private jet. Yeah. So the reason why I know this is because when I was awake. Late at night, when oh you God. went to bed, <laughs> Frank's I wake up to a private jet. Yeah, I wake up to a commercial for a private jet company. Oh, and they're like, pretty much, oh, you know, you don't have to ride, you don't have to go on a plane with all the fucking other cattle and shit, <laughs> and all the fucking low lives and coach all the elderly me. people that you want to pee on. Yeah, you know, have fucking uh, Ben Gay smell all over the whole fucking thing, and <laughs> you know. And then uh, they're like, you could, you'll get there on time. Your plane will be wait, waiting for you and everything. So I did the math quick. Well, they had like a cell phone. And they're like, you could order from your app. And then the cell phone quickly went from, you know, it kind of, the camera glanced past it. So I, I paused it Pause. and it had all the prices on there. It was $30,000. Holy shit. To fly that fucking, to, to get a, I don't know where the fuck they were going. But thirty grand. I bet you it was amazing, but. It's a but lot if of you money. think if you have twenty people, and you're going somewhere, I don't think that's that far though. Those Who things knows? can only go so far, right? Little ass plane like that. It's not like you're flying anywhere too crazy. 
So if you had 20 people, that'd be between fucking 30,000. Yeah. Yeah, you could do that. I'd do it. Imagine we should do it. Where do you guys want to go? Anywhere. Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Boston. <laughs> quick up, quick down. Let's see. My son's girlfriend came downstairs uh one thirty AM with no eyebrows and demanding that I take her to get you who <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Alright, well these fucking suck ass. <laughs> you who. Yeah. I do um, I do like a you who. I love you who. It's been a while. They used to be so cool back in the day. Somebody thought they were a gardener. Somebody went to the gym. These fucking, these are dumb. These I was waiting weird. for this story of like, wait. Can you hear that? <laughs> Well, I mean, now at this point, <laughs> just finish it. <laughs> well, uh, welcome to uh, Delta One Five Four on our way from uh, Boston to uh, Dublin. Can you imagine? I know we're an hour in, but somebody decided to piss on an elderly lady. So, uh, if everybody if could was... just uh, put your seatbelts on. Uh, psh, we're going to turn around now <laughs> because somebody uh, can hold their liquor or their urine. Uh, so have a safe flight. And, uh, thank you for traveling Delta. Thank you for traveling Delta. Thank you. Over. Uh, blame the former NFL player for fucking up everybody's flight. Shh, over. Temperature 78 <laughs> degrees. Clear skies. <laughs> that's my favorite part. Every time, that's my favorite part. I love that fucking part. <laughs> Me too. It's a. Uh, they pump you up. The time is now 1400 <laughs> hours. 74 degrees. Clear skies. They talk from about north the altitude. To west. Oh, it's great. Altitude is about a. Uh, <laughs> 35,000 feet. I'm going to be coming in. Uh, she'd have a great time in Florida. And then everyone cheers. Bobby, are you awake over there? Bobby. Bobby, something is. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Bobby, wake up. All right. So uh, we're going to be <laughs> landing the plane right now. And uh, Bobby just died. So uh, <laughs> it's just going to be me flying plane. I'm taking over. All right. I think this bit is over. Uh, I think we're done with this bit. Boop. All right, cool. But that was fun. Do you think the elderly, I'm still stuck on this. Do you think she was sleeping? She must have been sleeping. And then as she's sleeping, she's like. That's what's happening. She has a dream that she was younger by the water hose. <laughs> she's she's like, like, I want a sip of water too, she guys. Like, Bleh. She's like, I want a sip of water, too. Like, their friends are all drinking out of the water hose, and they're playing, like, dodgeball in the summer. She's, it's 19, like, 54. <laughs> <Four>. 1904. <laughs> it's, like, 1902. And they're like, I want to drink from the water hose. And she's like, so, so in her dream, she's drinking from the water hose because they were just playing, like, double dutch. Or, or dodgeball, like hide and seek. Hide and seek. Yeah. Right. So she's like, her lips are like. <laughs> so she's slurping the fucking hose water in her dream, but she was slurping fucking urine. Urine. And he's like, slurp my shit, slurp it. Some people are into that. Hot one. <laughs> the golden shower. The golden shower. You know. If- uh, <laughs> there's a golden shower going on. If he was like a like a hot famous person and I'd this let him was like, all over me and this was like a younger girl maybe she would have embraced it i don't know would you have embraced it no but maybe someone would have who would you have embraced it with like who would it take to embrace a shower of the golden age hmm it's a good question oh i can't even watch people pee especially females i can't watch them pee outside it's fucking really? gross. Ugh! Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh, God. Like, Somebody's laughing if... in here, but I don't want to say why. 
Even like I fucking hate it, especially when they pee in your hot tub. <laughs> At least it was the hot tub and not like that's five hundred gallons. You. We're it's on me. It went in my everywhere on me. No, there's chemicals. Yeah, you no. got some shock in there. It's fine. They don't react that fast. <laughs> oh, I can't watch chick pee. Even like on the side of a parking lot. No, ugh, ugh, nasty. You see it coming out of your. That beautiful place. Beautiful place. And then it just. And it's tarnishing. The liquid just goes all over down. Oh, fuck that, dude. Oh, I hate that shit. It's a stream. <laughs> Nasty. I don't know how dudes in, could get pissed on. It's fucking gross. Yeah, I don't know. So who would it take? Oh. Hmm. Like a famous person? Alec Baldwin. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I mean, oh, uh, I love Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> I love Eminem. Eminem, I, probably be Eminem for uh, you. Or no, Jake Gyllenhaal too. Really? I, I have a few. I, I probably let a few. Huh? Who do you think? You think Roger would let somebody do that to him? Mm, like a hot, famous celebrity, probably. Roseanne Barr. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie Underwood. Okay. Definitely Carrie Underwood. So I wouldn't I don't give a fuck who it is. Oh my god. Who Why do not? I like as who's my favorite hot celebrity chick? Like Mila, no. Mila Kunis is super hot. There's an MMA chick. Who? I don't know her damn name. If I follow her on Instagram, I wouldn't let her pee. Oh, on Paige me. Van Dam? No. Oh. oh, way better than that. Really? Yeah. Who? She had all these tattoos. She puts blood all over herself all the time. That's not cool, though, but. Oh. Yep. Who I would she? never let her pee on me. I don't know. I don't know her name. Hmm. There you go. Okay. She said, whoever. What about Special K? What do you think? Who do you think she would let do that? Maybe like Morgan Wallen. She really likes Morgan Wallen. Who's Morgan Wallen? Famous country singer. Oh. What about Big D? Hmm. Conor McGregor. He would like Conor McGregor. <laughs> <to kill Evan>. <laughs> <laughs> I think he would. I think he would. That's a good question. Mm. So let's ask him. So okay. while you text him. If he replies with before the end of the show. If not, we'll circle back. Yeah. Why you text him? I want to talk about assholes who do not. I thought you were going to say I want to talk about assholes. Like, literally assholes. Okay, continue. <laughs> well, real quick. From the 3D printer, there's something you could put the plug. Oh. But you could put like, it comes apart like an Easter egg and you could put things in there and hide it and then put. <laughs> what? Put like. Pull up yeah, candies I'll or show something. You. Yeah, <laughs> breath mints. Who's this? I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No. Put a. Uh... I don't know if she's in UFC though. Let me see. Uh, you just did MMA. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's not her. Put um. She might be French or something. She has an accent. Or put like blood all over herself. I forget. I wonder who it is. I forget her damn name. Hmm. Then she has another chick with her that like slaps. She does the slap competition the slap too. Thing? Yeah. So anyway, I just want to, while we're waiting, put out a little public service announcement. Oh. For dickheads who want to do landscaping. At 7.30 in the morning on fucking Labor Day during the day when people are supposed to be resting and sleeping. Don't start your fucking lawnmowers. It's the worst. Or your fucking weed whackers that early in the morning. And then you don't stop till 4.30 in the afternoon. I hope the next time you do that. Your backpack blower blows up on your back 
burns your eyelids off. You get some- and you look surprised the rest of your life. <laughs> Or not surprised. Get it? Not surprised. Hello. That was great. That was fucking dope. That was, that was a good dope. one. That was a good one. I was picking up what you were putting down. All right. I don't want you to really get burned, but I we really do hope it blows up anybody. on your back. But so at least you get a blister. I just feel like there should be a rule. It shouldn't be until at least after eight. Mm. Anything before eight is is crazy because even someone's came to my house before and it's it was before eight. And I have like young children and I was like. Nah, if they if they weren't awake and they just woke up my kids, I would be out there screaming like a psychopath. There is in some some towns there's ordinances you can't start that shit until like I, after eight or after nine. Well, I remember saying like I'm not gonna like complain, but I if one of the neighbors might or yep. like I mean if my kids were sleeping, I definitely I would have been pissed. See, I don't bitch because it should just be after eight. Like before yeah. eight is crazy. Because I'll have parties with the music going. Right. Late at night, and they don't bitch at me. So you wanted to not. So you got to take again. a beating here now and then, and the uh, the what you call it the uh, the the weed whacker guys that fucking. But seven thirty on a holiday like weekend is rough. Yep. So Digger looks out the window. And was like, they got machetes and everything. <laughs> I was intrigued. Yeah, they got machetes. They're like macheting it like they're in a uh, oh uh, rainforest because it was a whole bunch of weeds, like thick weeds. I'm like, these motherfuckers. And I had the fucking windows open. Then you had the other yap yap dog next to it. Going yep, everything just went off the hook. I got an answer. All right. Sydney Sweeney. Who's that? Who's Ever that? hear of her? I looked her up. She's gorgeous. I don't know what she's on, but she's really pretty. Let me see. I don't know. We'll have to, like, Google, like, what is she? Nah, on? I ain't letting her pee on me. Really? She's yeah. really pretty. She's an actor, actress, I should say. I gotta find the fucking. I don't know their damn names, and I can't get onto my Instagram from here. MMA. Um. Blood. She was in. Chick. Blonde. Euphoria, the show Euphoria, and the White Lotus. So I've never seen any of these shows. No, it's not her. She's really pretty. Let me do uh, images. Yeah, she's not in here. She's pretty. Oh, that sweetie. Find her? Oh, here she goes. But she looks all fucked up here. Who's that? It's a fucking nostril. What just happened? Ah. <laughs> Did you find her name? Oh, she's pretty. You could tell she's pretty. I wouldn't let her pee on me. You would? That's because, no, she's got the blood and shit on her. It's not, I just had deja vu. We were here before. Shade Mason Wong? Is that her name? We were here before. Just now. Swear to God. This whole thing. This whole thing. Doesn't that freak you out when that happens? Just happened. Hold on. Jade Mason. What's her name? Wong. Long Duck Wong. Nope, I'm not letting her pee on me. You? Oh, you, no, I thought you said you would. Would not. Hell no. Really? Dig it, who would you let pee on you? Shannon's pee. Oh, I would too. That's another good one. That's. I have a list. Hell. <laughs> what did she say? Do that again? All over the face. Yeah. I, would. I don't know, man. I forgot about him. I always forget about him, but he, I would. Oh, she's gorgeous. Let me see. What'd you find? All the good ones. Let me. She's great. Find her friend. She got a friend what? too. She has a friend. Yep. <laughs> you could scroll. They get better. Wong's. I've never seen friend. her or even like heard of her. Uh, Wong's <laughs> friend. I don't think you're gonna slap <laughs> fight. Oh yeah, I'll find it. Watch. I'll show you. She's cute. So I saw this. I saw her slap fighting. Dude, she's no joke. She'll fuck you up. No, I don't know who it is. Either way, whatever. I wouldn't let them pee on me anyway. Oh, Margaret Robbie as well. Raj would definitely. Who? Margaret Robbie. Who's that? Oh, you would know her. Hold on. Hmm. So... If I had to pick one. She was in Wolf of, Wolf of Wall Street. 
What's her she name again? She played Harley Quinn. Um, Margaret Robbie. Nah, she ain't, hell no. Oh my god, everyone loves her. Was she like a uh, the fucking superhero shit? Yeah. What do you call that? Um, Harley Quinn. Oh yeah. Nah, not doing it. No. Nope. nope. So, all right. Big B's pick was better. I think. Was the it the first one? Yeah, she was great. I was going to get into USPS. What happened with them now? They're fucking starting that shit again. But they won't, won't, they won't deliver, deliver my shit. Again? Yeah, fucking assholes. Do you think they're doing this like to mess with you guys? I don't know. Because this is know. like a reoccurring. Yeah. So they're like... So I get it. Or a, is it because like your driveway situation, do you think? The driveway. But... Do they deliver your neighbors? I don't know. You should ask them. Because that's discriminatory because you share a driveway. But there's like other people complaining on the Facebook thing. Oh, really? So I don't want to say the town of where it is, but, you know, on that town Facebook thing. Right. So last time I talked to him when he called me angry little man, <laughs> that big ogre looking motherfucker. That was one of my favorite stories I've yep. ever heard in my entire life. So then this was like last week. So I said, hey, I have a package coming. I know it's not going to fit in the fucking mailbox. Mm-hmm. And I know your people are lazy fucking shitbags. So can you leave it there and I'll come after work and pick it up? Get it, yeah. It's already on the truck. Why would you put it on the truck? When you know you're not going to deliver yes. it to me. So now, when do they get back? Five o'clock. First of all, take the base out of voice, sir. Ugh. They get back at five. What time does the thing close? We'll be closed by the time they get back. So now it's Saturday. Come so now on. I can't get my shit till Monday. That's because terrible. Because you're a fucking lazy fuck. And my thing's already gone. Yeah. When You could have just picked it up that day. So text him. Find out where he is. I'll meet him with my ID and get my shit. Yeah. We all don't have his number. You're a fucking liar. So long story short, I said to him, I was like, hey, remember when you called me an angry little man? The, this is the guy you're talking to, and you must have remembered. I'm sure and he I did. Said, I gave him the address too, so I think he remembered the address because he came over here to talk you to me. You probably have like a red flag. Oh, he, yeah. he came to your house personally? Yeah, to talk to me. Nuh uh. Yeah, and that's when I yelled at him some more. That fucker. He's tall. He's a tall motherfucker. Is he? Oh, yeah. I want to tackle his ass. <laughs> he came here? <laughs> <laughs> what is he, the mailman manager? Yeah, he's the. the <laughs> The postmaster assistant. <laughs> this guy is a black belt in postal service. Why did he come here? Fucking your loser. He came here. What a house. fucking loser. <laughs> Fuck him. I don't give a shit. Wait, that's crazy that he came to your house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I told him they were racist. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I said, what do you like? You don't like Italians? You don't like Italian? You don't like the name on the fucking list? Or is it the fact that I had a police flag? And you saw that, oh. and now you don't like it, please. You don't huh. bat, he doesn't back the is. badge. That's yep. fine. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell everybody, and then I'm going to start a petition to have you fucking fired because you're a fucking shitbag. And allegedly, allegedly, I don't know this for sure, but he got removed from one place for stealing shit or had something to do with stealing so shit. So he's a freaking nut job. And then they put him in our town. Can't say the town, but allegedly this happened. So, so I'm allowed to say this. So he's a criminal. As long as I say allegedly. He's and a criminal and he's coming to your house. People that you know were having glasses stolen and not delivered to their facility. Glasses? I Really? Yeah, the place that you, the people you know that you know. Oh my God. Yes. And they were telling me this too. Like, yeah, we had like... Uh, uh, not Louis Vuitton, but they said something. Uh, let's just say like Louis Vuitton glasses. or Versace glasses or whatever the fuck they were, like designer frames that people would order, and they wouldn't make it past that fucking post office. Yeah, yeah. So we should build a case. Yeah. So I told him, I said, do you remember that time I told you there's a petition going around to get your shitty ass fired? Yeah. This is what I said. Once I just said, fuck it now, because I know I'm not getting my shit. Yeah. He's like, I'm not, I don't recall. I said, yes, you do. Yes, you do. You okay. do recall. 
So now what I would like you to do when we hang up is go on Facebook. Yeah. And search your name. Yeah. Thousand percent that shit's going to pop up and you're fucking out of there. You ah, you person, you. You. Yeah. You, you son person. Of, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. You're fucking a son of a bitch. I said, oh, listen, you son of a bitch. I got to put a petition. Yeah. I got you the fuck out of there. Did you put a petition for real? I did not. But, but there are, are others. We sparked the conversation and people wanted to get one done. So good. His name and pe- and petition is in the same sentence. So. So I bet you he left and Googled that. Yep. So. A day after, a couple days after that. I've been getting my packages. <laughs> Wait, come on. Yeah, no shit. Come on. This fucking dirtbag. So if anybody works for the U.S. Postal Service, just do your job. Just stop. Just bring the fucking packages. If not, Don't withhold leave that. the fucking thing at the at the post office. If yeah. you know you're not going to deliver it and you're a lazy fucking piece of shit, leave it at the post office. Let the guy come over there and grab it. Right. Or a female. Let them grab it so they can get their shit. And I said to yeah. him, I said, what if it's med- medication? Right. That somebody really needs. Yeah. Oh, well, we, we do our best. Well, that's not good enough. No. And then people were talking about suing for that. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's not right. Yeah. So this is crazy. It's, uh, yeah, so now I got all my shit. That fucking scumbag. No issues anymore. Yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, because when... When I uh, I saw a mailman coming, and then I pulled up next to him and asked him politely, and I was just like, "Hey, did you do I have my package in there?" He's like, "No, I already delivered it. Your wife and the dog were out there, and I delivered the package." And blah blah blah. And that was like right after it too. That was that day, like, matter of oh, fact. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Yep, yep. So, <laughs> were you like, "Oh, hey, thanks yeah. for coming down my driveway"? Yeah. <sighs> So between that being frustrated, you know, suburban life is fucking tough. I know. We got landscapers going crazy. Fucking. My man man's a dick. That's 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 insane. A lot of people won't be able to survive in a suburban life. No. That's you why know? people like the boonies. You know, not even. Or like, the, I don't know. It's probably safer in the ghetto. You think? Oh, yeah. hundred percent. I don't know. hundred percent. I think like not suburban, but at least like, you get your mail. I don't know, like in the middle of the woods somewhere. Yeah. Ah, but then you have wild animals. Yeah, but then you don't even have probably post office or anyone to come piss you off. Yeah, the guy on a horse <laughs> that comes with the fucking mail. Rival. Or, oh, Rival. I don't know. No, I'm talking about my... coming hunting for you. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's, that's true too. I don't know. In the ghetto, at least, I mean, if you're going to a bodega or some shit. Crackhead's not really going to chase you too far. He's fucking... No. Just ask you for a couple singles. Yeah. You ain't got to give it to him. No. You can get one of those 25 cent juices that Digger used to get all the time in the ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> you know those awesome. little ones that look like little kegs? It's all oh, sugar. Like, yes. Yeah. Yes. I used to love those. You pop the top. Is that fucking oh, aluminum Oh, like the shit? red, the blue. Yeah. Red, blue. Yes. She used to get them from the little Italian... Well, I don't know if you call it an Italian spot, Bodega, but the Italian deli. Yep. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a good place. It was a spot. Yeah, that was good. That's awesome. So, I think, uh, oh. I think that's it. What's he saying? Who's that? Hold on. <laughs> Something about her. I blame Wolf of Wall Street. What? Margaret Robbie. So, nah. that was another top two. Margaret Robbie? Yeah. I don't know who that is. The um, Harley Quinn. Oh, the that one. Chick, yeah. I wouldn't let her pee on me. No. I wouldn't let Digga pee on me. She wouldn't let anyone pee on you. You'd have to be like held hostage. Like, you must let her pee on you. I'm like, ah, That'd fuck. be the only way. Like, well, what happens if I don't? Well, you I all die. We have we have the princess. She- we have the princess of Panas. See? You need to let her urinate on you. And then I you will not let that happen. I am the king of Panas. No. Yeah, hit me. I gotta pee on you. If you, if you ever do. want a lucky 47 Fuck. again, you're gonna let her do it. So I would have a stand in <laughs> that looked just like that. me. And he would be the, <laughs> the one who gets pissed on. You're that against it? 
Oh, I just have a stand in. Then I have like a Navy SEAL type team because I'm the king of Panas. Okay. okay. There you go. What would they be called? I would say if you ever want the Lucky 47 again, Power Panas. You would have to let that happen. Power Panas Ranger team would come in. And I'd have no. a, a stunt double that gets pissed on. And as he's getting pissed on, the Power Panas Rangers come in and fucking save you. And then here and she comes. Saved. Here she comes. You're fucking saved. The yep. See how I, I fucking them. did that? Well, well that's a good that came story. out fine. Hold on, I want to do that again. Hold on. <laughs> so then the Power of Panas Rangers come in and save you. <laughs> oh, that came out better. You should do it with sound. There you go. Why no, don't you get but... closer to the mic, please? All right, I guess that's not going to happen. So I love I, it. I appreciate everybody for listening. Have a great week. Did you break the fucking... The Panas sword? The Sasha's sword? It's fully intact. Well, thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you, thank you. Have a good week, everyone. And uh, we'll see you next week. Yes. Love you. Good Bye. Night. Love you. Hello, my faithful listeners. I want you to know, whether it's one of you or one million of you, the Not Surprised Podcast is dropping a show every Monday. If we're feeling stupid silly, we're going to drop a bonus show. You can listen to either show, all the shows, or whatever show you want on your favorite podcast platform or on YouTube. Thank you for listening, and enjoy the rest of your day or night.